All right, round two of filming this. See, I always think this video is gonna be a good idea, and then I have to relive every single boy experience I had this year, and it's not fun. Welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie. If you're new here, that's really cool. If you're not, thank you so much for coming back and watching the annual Writing the Boys that I dated this year. 2022. Wow. We made it. A whole other year. Still no boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't really like, I feel like I dated. No, okay, I feel like in 2020, I was like locked up and I was like trying to talk to everyone because there's nothing else to do. So I feel like there was a lot of people, but in 2021, I feel like I didn't have time to get as many names for the video. So boy number one of 2022. I started off simping, y'all. <laughs> I was hella freaking simping at the beginning of this year. Bumble, I believe. Just like, so fine. <sighs> so fine! I don't know. I don't even know how to tell the story. Are like, you, being you cool and sound like you're not a, you're a bitch. <laughs> um, I'll, yeah, I actually can't really say anything about it besides I was simping hard and he made me really sad. He's the only one who knows who he is, so if he's watching this, two out of ten. Next boy, moving on. Boy number one that gets to replace the actual boy number one. I think the only person last year who got the rating 10 out of 10. If y'all remember last year's, if you don't, just pause this one, go watch last one, and then come back to this one. Okay, so him. So I went to hang out with him, and mind you, he lives in LA, so I was like going up there from San Diego, and he was, uh, you know when they're just like talk that talk? He was like, come up here, like, let's go to Malibu, like, let's go stay there, blah, 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 like, all this stuff, and I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. We ended up staying at his place, which was fine, and then going to Malibu, and, like, it was fun. We had fun, but there's this, like, it's just a little weird. So, his roommate, was like, his roommate was like in love with him. And so it was like kind of weird that he was like having me over because it's like, oh, okay, I just remembered this whole situation. He actually was in Long Beach and we went out in LA and he made her drop us off there and then pick us up at like two o'clock in the morning when she was already like chilling, sleeping, like, it was just kind of a weird dynamic. And I will say, like, he took advantage of her. Like, he was low-key fucked up. I mean, unless he's also in love with her. Like, I don't really know what's going on there. And then when we got home, it was like, he didn't want to be all, like... <laughs> like, PDA-ish or anything because, like, his roommate's there and he knew that she was in love with him, so he didn't want to be like rude, which like kudos for that, but also it's like, why would you bring me around to your house then? So then the next day, we're gonna go to Malibu, and I feel like Loki, she got mad at him for like not inviting her, which like, I thought was a little weird because like, I don't know you, and I came to hang out with him, obviously. I don't know, all just like super interesting. But the entire time I was there, I felt like he wasn't really putting in any effort with me. Like, he'd be on his phone, and when I told him this, he was like, well, you were also on your phone. And I was like, yeah, I was on my phone, because what was I supposed to do while you were on your phone? Just sit there like that would have been weird like I'm gonna go on my phone too and then it was like we were having a good time and then suddenly we weren't like his mood would change and his mannerisms would change and the way he was like acting towards me like it'd go from like one minute being a little like 
couple like oh like so cute to like the next minute being kind of cold the second night that i was there we had planned to go out like in a group with like my friends who also live in the area and he just kind of was like are you gonna go out with jesse tonight and i was like what do you mean i thought like we all were going out with Jesse night. Like, okay, so are you kicking me out? Like, I'll go to my friend's house, but kind of weird that you're literally kicking me out when you were like, come stay here. And at the end, like, he definitely knew I was annoyed because I said something and he said something and it was just kind of like, you know, and we haven't talked since. It just ended on such a sour note of like, you didn't put any effort into me coming here. It was just weird vibes. Why would you have me come here? If your roommate is in love with you, like why am I here? I'm not, I am, I'm not high maintenance. I am high maintenance, but I'm not high maintenance in the sense of like, we have to go do bougie things and stay somewhere and all this but he talked a big game of like come up here like let's go to malibu like let's go stay somewhere in la like blah 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 blah. and it ended up just being staying at his house and it being really weird and like i don't care but it was just kind of like you could have just from the get-go been like come over stay at my house and like we're gonna do this 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 it's just the effort you know like if he wanted to he would and it sucked because i feel like in my head i was like oh my gosh like my British boy, like I'm gonna go hang out with him and like we're so in love, not like really, but you know what I mean? It was just gonna be like such a fun time with like my fave boy and it just ended up not, not really being that love. Overall rating for the British boy. I mean, I still give him a 10 out of 10. I'm just absolutely like obsessed with him like I always will be <laughs> I don't know he just still gets a 10. Boy number two. Boy number two you all met on my channel the same exact time I met him. My tinder date mukbang extraordinaire. His name is Tyler I can say his name because he's literally already been on the channel. After that I feel bad because I feel like nothing bad really happened or anything like I just honestly was kind of busy he's honestly kind of busy as well like he's a pretty busy person so when we make plans it just doesn't always like correlate and whatever we went on one day after the mukbang for those of you who are curious and then it turned into like a group festivity because we like went on a date but then we ended up going out and all my friends met us and it was actually such a fun night Tyler like, I'm gonna give him like a 9 out of 10. He would get a 10 out of 10 if he had an accent, maybe. Great guy, nothing bad, never disrespectful, like just all around solid. But I will say, if he had to turn around and rate me, he would probably give me like a 2 out of 10. Because the last time I saw him, I ran into him in Pacific Beach. And I may or may not have been like just hanging out with someone and like he may or may not have been like right here and I may or may not have been like right here and I may or may not have like literally made out with someone in front of him and Tyler I'm so sorry that I did that. Okay number three. Great story actually how we met. So uh, I was just feeling bold one day. I was out with my friend Sean in Pacific Beach and she is just a little wild one. And every boy that we'd come across, she'd be like, this is my friend Lindsay, here's her number. This is Lindsay, here you go. She was just pimping me out and I felt so confident and it was like a Tuesday, I don't know why we were out in PV. And we ended up at Mavericks, which was like so random and it was actually turning up. There were so many people there, we were just like dancing and stuff and then I saw this guy from across the bar and no cap, I was like, that boy looks like g -Eazy. Uh, maybe not, but. I don't know, drunk me thought so. When I was leaving, I saw him 
look at me, like stare at me on the way out. Cause we made eye contact at the bar, but we never like talked or anything. So I like looked back and like stared at him. And then I was like, you know what? I don't need Sean to pimp me out. I'm gonna pimp myself out. I just ran over to him and I was like, hi. And then we exchanged numbers and I went along my merry way. He ended up asking me out on a date. Probably like the most fun first date. No. A really fun first date. Um, second date. It took a long time for us to go on a second date actually. It took a couple of months for us to finally hang out again because he was just kind of weird over text and I was like, Meh. But I gave him another chance. He go out again. So I was like, okay, obviously. This guy likes to party, which is fine. I do too, but like on a date, you know, especially if your last date was that. I feel like it should be something else. I don't really know. He went out with his roommate, this girl that his roommate was seeing, and she, lo I love her. It was like, just not really a date. It was just like going out, which is fine, whatever. So we go out, all is well, but homeboy kind of like, like, almost blacks like he was real drunk and then we're standing at the bar and we lost the girl and the roommate and so I was like where are they and he's like oh let me go find them and I was like okay go and so he goes to look for them and then he doesn't come back for so long and I'm like where are you I called him and he was like you left me. And I was like, what do you mean I left you? You went to go find them. Did you find them? Where are you? And he was like, you left me. And I was like, I didn't leave you. And then I went into the other room to go find him. And I was like, hi, like, where are they? And I found them. And I was like, oh, there they are. And he's like, you're all the same. And I was like, what? And first day, he had told me that his ex-girlfriend was also a Libra. And she actually had the exact same birthday as me. And I think she cheated on him, I think. He was not a fan of the ex-girlfriend. And so when he found out that I was a Libra and that it was the same birthday, he was like, oh my gosh, like Libras are the worst. So fast forward and now he's like, you're all the same. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, all Libras. And he thought that I had left him and was like going to talk to other people at the bar because I'm a Libra so we're flirty which like we are flirty but that was not the case at all. The day ended on the note of him like yelling at me you're all the same like all Libras are like this and then literally he never texted me he never called me like nothing the next day to apologize or anything. I have not heard from him since. So four out of 10, if you're out there, bro, work on that. Like what? To blame me for the mistakes of your ex-girlfriend? No, next. Okay, <sighs> okay. Next boy, not my favorite, I feel like, to relive, but has to be done. The next boy, boy number, what are we on? Four. I met at the gym. He actually works at the gym that I went to. And he, oh my God. <laughs> as soon as he started working there, I looked at Daniel one day when we were walking to the gym and I was like, he likes me. And Daniel was like, Shop. Progression. Every time I check in, I felt like he was extra nice to me. You know what I mean? He'd like compliment my nails when I got them done. Like he'd remember the last nails that I had because he would be like, Oh, I got your nails done. Looks nice. Because you know, you have to like scan in and put your finger on the finger pad thing. So he'd like look at my nails. So I was like, He likes me. And then one day I was doing a wall sit. This is really cute. He came over, he grabbed a plate from the squat rack and he like put it on my lap like for me to carry and was like do it like that and I was like oh my gosh no like stop I'm gonna die. It's a cute little like flirty moment and I was like Daniel he likes me and mind you like he's so cute. Definitely the cutest employee at the gym. <sighs> the six pack. Y'all know me and the abs. 
know. You already know. One day, I was just doing a little split squat and he came and sat on the bench next to me and he took his headphone off and he was like, oh, am I in your way? Sorry, which like, you're not in my way. Like you're on your own bench and I'm here, like shut up. But then I was like, oh my God, he likes me, I knew it. And then we just started talking at the bench. It was like cute, he was just chatting me up. He asked what I did, like what my schedule was like with that, like he just, he was getting to know me at the bed, and I was like, he likes me, you know? I could tell, I could tell. At that point, I was like, it's solidified. I was at work one day, and my coworker was like, let's find him, so, and he, he like, has FBI skills, and he was like, just follow him. Oh my, God, oh my gosh, okay. Whatever, so I followed him and I liked three photos. That's like my move. I ever follow you and like three photos, like you know what my intentions are. He followed me back, liked a bunch of photos back. I liked a couple more. I always make them be the first message too. Just keep liking until one of you is gonna message each other. He ended up messaging me and he was like, hey, you found me, creepy. Uh, we ended up talking for a good amount of time, a couple months or so. Just something, I was going through a lot, something like wasn't there. He had an American flag hanging on his wall. Just the sweetest guy though, but we ended up deciding to not talk anymore. And I was sad, I was really sad, because he really is a good guy. I wish him all the best. I wish it would have worked out, but I think I just wasn't in the right place for what he was looking for. I think he was like a girlfriend kind of guy, and I just was kind of in a place where I wasn't down to be his girlfriend. <laughs> Rating. Oh my god, this is hard. I'm, I'm gonna give him like an eight. No. Okay, based off of this story, I give him an eight, but based off of what he did afterwards, and you know what you did, I give him like a four. Okay, and point number five is sort of an honorable mention. Uh, we've only gone on one date, so it's kind of may continue. May not. <laughs> the reason he's an honorable mention is uh, he absolutely killed me on our first date, our only date. He was asking me about myself. We're from the same hometown. Love a good Temecula boy. I can't help it. I just do. My friend set me up with him. We ended up going on a date. We're talking and karaoke gets brought up and I was like, oh my god, I love karaoke because I do. I love karaoke. He was like, oh, like you like to sing, blah, blah, and I was like, oh, no, but like, I was like, oh, well, I was in theater in high school, and blah, blah, blah. we were talking about high school, and we were both such straight edges, and like mentioning high school. We went to different high schools, and we were just continuing that conversation for a minute, and then to wrap the conversation up, and bring it back to me being in theater, he said, well, at least it wasn't Glee Club. And if you know me, then that's funny to you because I was actually president of Glee Club in high school. So that was freaking embarrassing. We'll see where it goes from here. Stay tuned for next year's update video to see if he makes the cut or we'll see. Oh, am I the worst? I feel like I'm just like, into not the nice boys. That was my year of dating in 2021. It was significantly shorter and significantly less people than 2020. I just really didn't talk to people. I just was so busy. Uh, girl boss <laughs> but those are the ones I did date and that is the story of them all if you have any other men that you think I should date for next year's story please feel free to <laughs> send them my way if you are a man that would like to date me for next year's story my DMs are always open to that I wish everybody a happy 2022 here is to love 
you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know who your favorite boy was down below. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.